Hello, everybody. I decided today was the day I would maneuver some fish room things. So far, hopefully the only bad thing that happened was the nipple actually came off of the pump in the hose, which kind of bites, but I think if I take it apart, I could probably replace it. So there's that. The guppy tank is doing quite well. Our little man here has quite a bit of color. I think he's a guppy. He might be an endler. I'm not sure. I don't really know the difference. I think guppies are just chubbier, maybe. I don't know. And there's Miss Gup. But I think if endlers and guppies breed, I don't know if their offspring can breed. I don't know. I'm not very informed on this type of fish. I've kept them before, but it's never been voluntary. They've always just been left with me. So, anyways, guppies are doing good. CPDs are doing all right. Don't mind my PJ pants in the back there. You mind your business. These guys are doing okay. They had a whole one egg today. Great job for December so far, guys. This tank had a actually a lot of eggs. I couldn't even count them. So, great job, guys. Sorry to be so scary. Today was water change day. Plus, I've been doing a lot of moving around here. <clears throat> the December tank, like I said, had a lot of eggs. So, no swimmers yet. Today is the first day of dumping here. Fingers crossed they have better luck than the other tanks did. I can't say that. Better luck than October did. November, on the other hand, is doing very, very well. We still have a few littles here on the glass down here. And towards the back. But, ultimately, they are doing phenomenal. They're just very tiny. Quite a bit of them, all the way up to the top. October, what little there were, are doing fantastic. I think I've only had one in here that had a slight deformity. Although, uh, all of my culls that do come out, they just get put into the big planted tank. They either get eaten or they grow up. So Either way. Figure it's better than just being murdered outright, I guess. I don't know. I guess being eaten would be murdered, huh? Look at this guy right up on the glass. He's too small to even zoom in on. But anyways, September is doing awesome. They're starting to actually look like CPDs now. I have I actually swept back there. I moved all the stuff. I organized the wires and everything, so everything's all clean back there. I actually have to get up behind there and do some caulking. So... These two tanks are ready to go other than water and lids. I just got to decide which pump I want to attach them into. It's either that one or the one doing the shrimp. Speaking of shrimp, let's see how they're doing today. They had pretty good last I knew. Everybody just ate like two hours ago. Cause I, man, there's a lot of worms on the glass. Everybody just ate about two hours ago. I waited until my little one left before I started doing any of this stuff. She's hanging out with grandma today, so I figure I had time to do fish things. And I have about an hour left. But the big project, biggest project today, was moving the planted tank. Ta-da! It is no longer here. I still have to clean up everything that was behind it. And, uh... I still don't know what I want to do with that. I love the other underground filter idea, but I just, I don't use gravel too often anymore. And I will probably be moving these guys because I don't want anything fishy over here. This is where I have to get to my, oh my, a lot of plumbing for outside, plus the water meter and all that kind of stuff. So they just get to be part of the fish wall again, which I prefer anyway. So it was kind of awkward having just one tank out of the loop. So the big tank that was there, I actually found on the way home one day from work and uh it was on the side of the road with the trash i had no idea if it worked or held water or anything but i couldn't find anything broke on it except for a little chip and it's held water for a long time so either way i think i'm going to move it behind the furnace just to get out of the way i have no reason for a tank that big right now there's 220 longs with one of those little waterfall things 
just a tip for anybody that gets one of those, make sure it's absolutely level or it will overflow in the wrong direction and you're going to have a wet area. So this is the stand that the live tank was on. Uh, it's full of my old um, hang on backs and nets and stuff like that. I have to find a new area for all of those. <clears throat> but that's pretty much it right now. It took a while. I did this gently. I just drained it all down to about mm, there, just to where I could still leave the shark completely submerged because I took everything out except for the animals. Um, and uh, I actually set one of the little sword plants aside for something else. But I moved them all over. I just inched them real slow around the corner all the way over this way. Lifted that up right next to it. Well, I didn't lift it. I buttered it up right next to it. And then I stood in here and lifted it over. It worked out pretty well. I don't think anybody died or got any damage that I can see. It's starting to clear up. There are so many shrimp in this tank. These were all the culls back when I was selling shrimp still. And they're actually really good looking fish. There's some fish and shrimp. There's some lower grades in there, but there's some really high grades in there too. She's buried. Some white cloud action. Reservoir. Looks like he's got ick on his nose. Oh yeah, that's still the same one from before. The CPDs are in there still. There's actually some... I saw them earlier. They're probably getting moved all around now. But this is where I put the cull baby CPDs too. Like I said, if they survive, they survive. If not, they get eaten by minnows. Hey, there's our pygmy Corridor. She's so fast. Minnow's doing good. CPD's doing okay that are in here. The shark is back here somewhere. Now you can see his tail. Ooh, and a buried shrimp. Whole bunch of shrimp. I left a gap here. I don't know if I'm going to put just fertilizers or uh, maybe the brine shrimp over there. I don't know. But I like it better here. I was like I said, it's in the loop now instead of way over there. Filled it up a little more. I'm taking a chance on that being a submersible heater. I'm pretty sure it is, but I'm not positive. We shall see. They went from just having bubbles to, do I added a sponge filter? Um, this is also my third time recording this video. Sorry if I'm repetitive. I can't remember which one I said on which take now. <laughs> but uh, yeah. That's pretty much it so far. I have about an hour left of lights on. I gotta find a place for this stuff. And yeah, I don't think I'm gonna fill those up tonight. I'm not too worried about it. I have till the end of December, so we shall see. Other than that, um, thanks for stopping by.